are the Texas Wrestling Alliance Tag Team Champions, Robin Cruz and Jeremy Sage, the Board of Education. Snobby, snotty, arrogant, demeaning to the fans of the Far West Rodeo of the Texas Wrestling Alliance. They feel they are the embodiment of everything the TWA fans are not, and they are here to defend the titles against the number one contenders. And here they come, and they're playing it. And their opponents. And Ray can't even get the announcement off. It's Spanky the American Dragon oh. and the Board of Education. The last two these teams got together and mixed it up. It was one of the most violent independent wrestling matches in the history of American independent wrestling. And both these teams are here to showcase their talent for the fans at the Far West Rodeo at the Incredible Showdown. And they are both fighting for the same goal, the TWA Tag Team Titles. Well, I'll tell you what. We wanted to get them inside the steel cage so that nobody can get out and nobody can get in, and we can't get them in. Ruben Cruz, Jeremy Sayes did not wait for Spanky and Dragon to come out. Instead, right away went right after them. Dragon has Ruben up, drops him down, throat first on the railing. Spanky, same to Jeremy Sage. Dragon now using the cage, trying to use the cage as a weapon. Blocks Ruben, both men wanting to plant the head. That cage is so dangerous. All wrestling fans have to do is remember back to a match called Hell in a Cell, where Shawn Michaels, blood, sweat, and tears, gave it his all inside. Something similar, only that one didn't, didn't have an opening. I got news for you, whether it's a top butter, it doesn't matter. There are four walls around you. Wire, steel, mesh. This match is already getting ugly. For those of you that didn't see the ladder match, one of the most amazing matches ever in TWA history. And this, the cage match, is certain to be the same. What historic night tonight, the incredible showdown. And now, Spanky the American Dragon, called himself American Force 2000, have got the Board of Education both in the ring. Inside the cage, in the ring. This is where they have to double team, to give it their all, to fight, if it needs be. Heart, sweat, blood, whatever it takes to lay into the Board of Education, who have been vertically challenged since they've acquired those oh. tag team titles. Little double team move there. Playing it smart. Into the surfboard. Dragon. Oh. And he dropped, or, well, drop down kick, really. Just face first slide into Jeremy Sage's face. That is going to rearrange an already really ugly face. This cage will also contribute to the rearranging of looks. So dangerous, not only do you have to deal with just a hard blow, the usual risks that are involved in a regular wrestling match. Double team move, Dragon follows with the clothesline. Oh. And Spanky now lays the kick into Ruben Cruz. Dragon oh. the save! My goodness. And folks, those are so devastating. Two feet just straight into the face of both Jeremy Sage and Ruben Cruz, the Board of Education. Ruben doing his best invitation to home plate, taking the slide. Now, Spanky! Beautiful reversal, Very Spanky! Nice. Plants down, Ruben, face buster! Dragon now, up and over, nice, Jeremy nice. misses. Rolling under. Dragon, beautiful karate kick to the back of the head. Just a drop kick to knock the teeth out. Remember, American Dragon, Though he is born in the USA, has been trained in the dojos of Japan, and been on a successful tour. Spankensteiner up and over goes Ruben Cruz. And all the little Spankaholics are thrilled over that move. Oh, Jeremy. Nice reversal by Jeremy. And I'll tell you what, the American Dragon is too low. Did not lay that one down. Now what, they're already on the run? Board of Education trying to take the action well, outside? Is not, this, what is this? this? What is this all about? This is not one of those typical WWF cage matches where if you get out, you win. No, no, you've got to pin your man in the middle. That's all it's going to be. They're busy John Dragon. Meanwhile, on oh top my. of the cage. Oh. Takes out both Jeremy Sage and Ruben Cruz. Big five. And Ruben falling back. Backwards, hitting his already once injured shoulder on the corner of the cage. Spanky now rolling up Manning. What is this all about? Spanky sets up the table. Both of these teams want to walk out of Far West Rodeo on the incredible showdown. The TWA Tag Team Champions, Jeremy Sage, is set up. 
Rubin, however, is not going to allow Spanky the opportunity to go oh. for that kill. However, just off the railing, using the cage to climb and do the backflip right onto Rubin Cruz. All four men have spilled out of the cage. The action right here in front of us, right at the entrance ramp. I didn't think anything could do that unbelievable ladder match, but we're seeing it right here. The American Dragon off the top of the cage to the floor. Spanky with a moonsault of the middle of the cage. Unbelievable. Ruben Cruz, Jeremy Sands going to town on Spanky. And he's going back into the cage, and right now he's going all alone as the American Dragon lie helpless on the floor of the Far West Rodeo. Dragon trying to gain his composure and get himself functioning again. Meanwhile, Spanky is just launched into the cage, that steel cage, so oh. dangerous. 15-foot steel cage surrounding the oh. ring. Spanky repeatedly launched, courtesy of the Board of Education. And if any team, any team has what it takes to lay them flat to the mat and take those belts, it is Spanky and Dragon. But right now, things do not look good for the American Force well, 2000. Once again, I want to reiterate, these four men were asked, do you want it to be the first man out of the cage or do you want it to be pinfalls? And they've all agreed, pinfalls. We don't want any of those WWF wimpy matches where all you have to do is leave. We don't want to run away from anybody. All four agreed to this. And I'll tell you what, folks, this is just amazing. Let's this is double a treat team. for all TWA fans all over South Texas. The blows into the cage has opened Spanky up. Ruben Cruz plants a spine buster. Jeremy Sage with a knee drop from the top rope. And now Spanky being stripped down to his skivvies. Poor Spanky has been last straight. He's stripped down to his skivvies. The young man doesn't mind getting stripped down, but I'm sure he doesn't like the punishment he's suffering at the hands of the Board of Education. Spanky is always in for a little fun and games, but right now he is suffering from a little bit of a blood loss. Meanwhile, American Dragon is crawling his way back toward the ring, trying to make his way to help his lacerated partner, who is being double-teamed mercilessly by the Board.